Okay, so one of the things that I have to do is I have to go to the candle factory this morning before I get started doing my mayoral duties and uh, wrap some soap up. So we're gonna get over there and I'm gonna show you that process. I think one of the things that does help keep me young and my wife young too is that we do stay very busy all the time. It, it, it seems like, especially during the day, and we, and we do relax. We, we love our relaxing, relaxation time, uh, but we, we stay so busy and sometimes it's so frantic that, that it's, uh, it's kind of hard to keep up at times. But I think it's good overall. I think it's good for, or it's been good for us. Uh, it, it, it keeps us active. It keeps us busy. It keeps us doing things. And, and uh, just it just seems like it works for us anyway. I don't know how long we can we can do that, but between us, we we certainly work in more than our 80 hours a week as a couple. That's that's for sure. But. It, uh, it has paid off. Uh, we've, we've been able to lead a very nice lifestyle. We're certainly not rich by any means or by any means at all, but, but we, have, we have been able to be somewhat successful in our business life and our professional life. And, and uh, it's, been, it's been fun. It's been a great, it's been a great time. So uh, we're going to go in and I'm going to wrap some soap and I'll show you that process in just a second. All right, so it's time to go to work. Get the job done before we go do our other job. So we'll get, we'll get started on this. Uh, this is our wrapping machine. We will to get I get 20, 20 of these bars uh, done for one customer this morning. Just pick them up. It's a, uh, you always check it for imperfections. Slip it in, pull it through. Sometimes it takes a couple of times to get a, a seal on the bag. These are, uh, we'll seal these all up. We'll seal these all up and then we'll shrink wrap them. And I'll, I'll show you that process in just a second. So I'll show you what this bar looks like. It's kind of grooved to where you've got some grooves in there and people can cut out what they want. You can cut that with a knife pretty much, melt it down. It's a real popular item that we have. It seems like getting more and more popular all the time. actually is a part of my one, one of my jobs that I really I really enjoy doing it because I'm usually alone here and I don't 
I don't have anybody, I don't have anyone uh, needing something or wanting something. And, and look, that's not, that, that's not bad either. I really enjoy helping people, that's why I do what I do. But every once in a while, it is nice just to come over here, kind of tucked away, uh, away from everyone and everything, kind of clear my mind and reset and get ready for, get ready for the day. Uh, I like to do this in the morning uh, so that it's done when Pam needs this stuff. See, that one only took one time. Okay, so we got half of our order done. Now we're going to shrink wrap those bags. Uh, I don't know if you can see my head or not. I've set the camera a while ago. I've set it to where, where that machine over there, but over here is where we, uh, I'll just turn this around on there. And as you can see that, I use a heat gun, shrink wrap the bag, around the product and voila, that's done. And that's ready for the customer now. So we're gonna do this. So we're gonna do this 20 times and then we're gonna to get to City Hall. So I'm gonna cut this video off here and we'll see you guys later. Okay, so as you can see, we've got all of the soap wrapped and ready for the customer. Now the final stage of this process is to ensure that each block weighs precisely two pounds. It can weigh over, but it can't weigh less because we sell a two pound block and each block has to be a minimum of two pounds. As you'll see, we've got the process down to where each block is a little over. The big barrels you see in the background are the ingredients that we use to make our soap. So we'll start checking our process. Let's see here, we got 2.04. We, we have 2.04 again. We have 2.04. Now usually they're not all exactly the same. 2.04, that one almost went to 2.06. 2.04 again. I guess Elliot was pretty consistent this trip around. We got 2.04. So every one has to be at least two pounds. And we do try to keep it, uh, the finished product between 2.04 and 2.06. And there you go, you got a 2.06 there. So everybody, everybody, that buys the soap from the Cajun Candle Factory gets a bonus of a little bit extra soap because we want to make sure that you do get your money worth and since we do make our soap here we're able to ensure that our customers get what they pay for and it is, I don't know if you've ever used a melting pour soap to make crafts and gifts and things like that, but this is an awesome soap. It lathers wonderfully. It also, so a full case of soap base is 40 pounds. And when we get 40 pounds easily into this box, so I'll show you how we do that. It will fill the box up. So this customer is purchasing a full case of cocoa butter uh, melting for soap, soap base. Fits perfectly. As you saw earlier, they're actually getting probably an extra pound of soap base by buying the whole case because each, each bore is slightly over. So that's it. That's what they're getting. They're coming by, they'll pick that up, 
It was a process, a two-day process to get that ready for our customer. It's ready. They're going to love it. Their customers are going to love it. And we thank them for the business.